Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about PLSQL block. In PLSQL block, there are four sections. The first section is known as a declare, another section is known as a begin, another section is known as an exception, and last it ends up with the end. Out of this four section, declare and exception is the optional in PLSQL block. So we will start with the begin and end first. What I want to do? I want to just a simple print a one message. As we all know, if you are aware about the C language, then if you want to print a message on the console, then you can use the function that is printf. If you are aware about the C++, then you can print the message on the console using the cout. And in Linux, it is possible using the echo. In PLSQL, if you want to print the message, then you can use the function that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. Here you can just print a one message. For example, I want to print a message that is good morning. Then whenever you run this particular block, it will print the message, but if and only if your server output is on. For example, this is my SQL block and I'm just pasting my code over here. It will print the message that the PLSQL procedure successfully completed, but it will not print the message that is good morning. If you want to print the message that is good morning, for that, you need to simply set the server output on. Once the server output is on, then here you can simply paste your code and it will print the message that is good morning over here. So this is the way you can print the message in the PLSQL block using the dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. But sometimes people say that, sir, I want to declare a variable and then I want to print the message. Can we do this? Yes, you can. For example, I want to declare one variable over here and the name of the variable is, for example, vname. Here you can declare the data type, for example, where get to 30, then it will store the character. Here, if you want to initialize the string, then you can initialize by using the column equal operator. And then here in a single quote, you can assign a string. For example, I want to write here that is Atmiya. Then here you can write the semicolon. And after this, if you want to print this message, then you can just write here your variable name that is Vname. You can just copy this particular code and here you can paste, for example, I'm just pasting the code, then it will print the message that is Atmiya over here. But sometimes people say that, sir, I want to concatenate the string. Can we concatenate the string? Yes, you can. And for that, you can use the piping symbol. For example, suppose I want to print the message that is your input is. So here you can write your input is equal to, and then you can just write the single code inside the single code you can write your string and then you can concatenate using the concatenation operator that is two pipe symbol you can just simply copy your code and then here you can paste and you will get the output that is your input is equal to atmian but this is a static input sometimes people say that sir i want to get the input from the user and then i want to print the message Suppose if you want to take the input from the user, then here you can use the ampersand. Using ampersand, you can get the input from the user. For example, I'm writing here, that is a name. Then it will ask the value for the ampersand name. So you can just copy this. Now here you can paste in your SQL plus. Now it is asking me enter the value for a name. For example, I'm writing here, that is Dr. Parag Shukla. Then it will print the message that is your input is equal to Dr. Parag Shukla. If you want to rerun this particular code, then you can pass just a slash and you can press enter. Then it will ask the value for the name. Suppose if you pass here that is Atmiya University, then it will print the message that is your input is equal to Atmiya University. But here every time it is printing old and new. Here it is printing old and new. Why? Because it is just verifying the data that ampersand name is replaced with the Dr. Parakshukla and here ampersand name is replaced with the Atmiya University. Now suppose if you think that I don't want to print this old and new then you can use the option and that option is known as a set verify off. So if you write here set verify off 
if you now copy this particular code and if you run over here then it will ask the value for the name for example i am writing the same string again that is dr parag shukla but now it will not verify the value it will directly print the value that is your input is equal to dr parag shukla but sometimes people say that sir i want to print a line whenever you want to print a line at that time you can use the alped function to print the line for example let me print here one line that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line here you can write alped here in alped what type of line you want to draw i want to draw a dash and that is 30 times so you can just replace the dash with the dash and it will print the 30 dash over here you can just copy this particular line and you can paste here now you can just copy this particular code and you can paste into your sql prompt so whenever you paste this it will ask for the name for example if i am writing the name is atmia university then it will print that your input is equal to atmia university as well as it will print the dash over here and that dash will be 30 times that you can do using the alped what alped do over here alped is just used for the left side padding so it will do what it will find one dash over here and in the remaining space it will simply print the dash up to it reach to the 30 so what happened it will print the 30 times dash over here and it will look like a line so this is the way you can print the message into plsql in the next lecture we will talk about if condition in plsql so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all